Well, first of all, thank you. Um, I think it's a bit of a tricky match because you're playing someone from the from the qualifying that has had a second chance, even losing during the week. Normally, once you lose, you're out of the tournament, and he had a second chance to to bounce back in the main draw. And I think that that sometimes is a bit tricky. You might think that maybe um, maybe you can you don't know what to really expect. You know, maybe he can mm -hmm. he can be more motivated, or maybe he can be more sad. But it's a player that we know each other really well, so I knew it was going to be a, a tough match from the beginning until the end, and I think that that's what it was. I think the first set I was more comfortable, and then the second set he was a bit more solid, and I think it was a bit um, a bit harder match at the end. Mm -hmm. What are your ambitions in Bratislava? Well, I want to go day by day and match by match, but I, I guess as every player here, that everyone wants to be on Sunday lifting up the trophy the last day, the winner trophy. So. I think that's what everyone is here for. So yeah. Of course, uh, I remember one of your matches in Slovakia. It was in Trnava in uh, no. uh, 2016. You were in the semi-final uh, yeah. at the Challenger in Trnava. Maybe yeah, your yeah. memories about that match? Yeah, yeah. I remember losing to Darcis. Yes. I think I've never won a set of him. <laughs> He's always beat me pretty easy. I don't know why. Um, yeah, I actually been to Trnava a few times. I really have good memories. Last year. I was here in the indoor tournament and it was really nice, so yeah, I, I, like, coming, I like coming around here. Uh, how do you feel in Slovakia? I feel good. I think now it's, it's difficult times everywhere with the, with the COVID and you have to stay a bit more in your room, not go to so many places and take more care of yourself. But I think we're lucky enough to be doing the sport we love and, and I'm grateful for that. Okay.